Hey Boozers, how you guys doing? All right, we're gonna try this again. I went and just about reviewed one twice because I actually reviewed it in my Booze by the Barbecue series. However, this one I know I haven't done and it's from Twin Sales yet again. I know. When are you gonna stop with the Twin Sales? You know what? Never. I love Twin Sales. They're actually a really good brewery. It's the Dayblink Simcoe Pale Ale. And it's a Twin Sales Brewing Limited Release, coming at 5% alcohol by volume and 35 IBUs. And the ingredients are water, barley, hops, and yeast. And craft brewed in Port Moody. And again, these labels are pretty simple, pretty easy, and they're actually, they're not bad. Like you just have the stuff down there, just have the description there, it's pretty easy. I like it. It's pretty simple, but at the same point in time, complex because I really enjoy the labeling. So we're going to give the sucker a pour with my left hand, which I don't normally do. And we're going to see how it is. All right. So the smell. You do smell the hops in there. It's sort of like a, a dank hop. Not really fruity this time. It's sort of an earthy note, but it has a sweetness to it. Overall, it's not that bad. Oh, it actually smells kind of good. It does have a little bit of a piney resin smell to it, too. Okay. Cheers, folks. Well, wow. has a little bit of a bitter bite on it. Um, not like their other ones. The other ones, you do have a fruity note to it. You do have a very juicy note. You do have this sort of sweetness to it. This has a little bit more of a bitter, but it doesn't stick around a lot. It is a, a pale ale. The hop they used with it, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a different blend of hop overall that you would use in this style of beer and it actually isn't that it's not bad like the pale ale comes through and does leave that sort of alcoholy taste on the end of it and I forgot to switch it around and we got a little bit more cloudiness it was clearer before now it's got some cloud to it so the taste is going to change on this as well this is why you switch your beers when you pour them there's that juiciness it's still a bitter juiciness but it's still a good bitter juiciness um, you still do have that that earthy note hop um, yeah that's that's still delicious it's amazing what just a little bit left in the can how much of a difference of a taste and flavor it can make offhand quite quite good like I love these beers I can't complain about them at all they're they're really good this one is a little bit more of my least favorite one due to the fact that it just doesn't have that flavor that I want the oomph that I want um, but it's still good for what it is it's a, an experimental beer obviously because it is a limited series so for a rating out of 10 on this 7.5 to 7.75. It's still up there. It's still beautiful. But it's just not quite what I look for in the Twin Sales name. I, I love seeing more of what they have in there. But this is just something that kind of leaves me hanging a little bit. I would love to have more of it. But I just, it's not there. So for now, folks, I'm going to go finish this off. Got to turn my monitors back on. I think I have fixed this whole blurring sort of keep focusing on different things because my screens were brighter than me and that's saying a lot I am pretty damn white um, and I think I fixed this so we're gonna go with that and I will have my studio back to normal soon just right now it's a mess and I've got to clean a lot of it up but I've got a lot of stuff in here that won't be moved out till August so bear with me while I just sit in front of my computer for a bit anyways cheers Stay frosty, folks, and we'll see you real soon.
Thanks again and have a good night.